Hello guys, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to overclock the Radeon RX 7900 XTX. Um, this is like a, a process which fits uh, all uh, 7900 XTX modules. Um, so to start with, um, we're going to go to the open the Radeon software. You can do that by like right clicking and uh, on the desktop and then click on the AMD uh, Radeon software. And then you're going to have to go to the performance tab and then you need to click on the tuning tab as well. So at the moment it is on default settings uh, but before we start uh, you will need to download another software called uh, Heaven Benchmark which we will use it, uh, whilst we are doing the overclock. So, uh, so yeah, uh, I'll put down a link in the description to download it but I already have it installed. So uh, I'm going to start this now, as you can see everything is on ultra settings, and then I'm going to run it. So it's going to start uh, basically rendering a, uh, a game, for example, just we need, we need this running whilst we're doing the overclock. So uh, as you can see that in stock settings, um, the GB, GPU clock speed is already boosted to 2840 MHz and then sometimes it boosts to 2900 MHz and the VRAM clock speed is boosted to 2487 MHz as well um, so this is on default so to start the tuning we need to go to custom uh, by the way, we, you need to have this running in the background so you can see in real time um, the FPS, what you're getting, and in real time you can see how much the GPU is locking, uh, boost into and how much the VRAM is boost into as well. So the first thing uh, to do is to increase the power tuning. So at the moment it's disabled, so you just need to enable that and then slide it to 15% and then uh, click apply changes. That's the first thing we're going to do. The second thing we're going to do is um, adjust the fan uh, speed. So uh, I mean it's personal preference. You can either leave it in default because you know the fan already has its own um, fan curve but you can adjust it yourself. Uh, for me like uh, I like to adjust it myself but you don't have to do this process. So zero RPM, you can either like enable or disable it. It's like personal preference, but I like it enabled anyway because when you're not doing anything, it can it can turn it um, turn off itself. So so yeah, and then you need to click on the advanced control, enable that, and then go down the advanced tuning as well. So when you have like zero RPM enabled, it will basically turn itself off if it's below 55 degrees that's the line 55 degrees so basically I, I like to have the fan speed maximum 50% because I don't like it very loud but again if this is personal preference and depends on what model you have you might want your max speed to be like 100% but 100% is going to be too too loud and too noisy so I don't recommend laying up on it 100% maybe 70% but I like it 50% maximum uh, and I like to have it once the temperature is 65 when it's six, but um, let me just decrease these ones 30, 35 35 35 so yeah I want it 50 degrees whilst it's 65 and I wanted sorry the fan speed to be 50% was it on 65 degrees and I want the fan speed to be 45 whilst the temperature is, is 60 and I want the fan speed to be 40 40% whilst it's 55 degrees so yeah so what when the the temperature reaches 55 it will it will automatically start 40% fan speed and then when the temperature reaches 60 degrees it will go to 45% and then when it reaches 65 degrees it will go to 50% but this is personal preference you can 
adjust these yourself but this is the one the way I like to do my um, fan curve so hit, hit apply changes and then next thing uh, we're gonna um, clock the VRAM so as you can see at the moment it's running in 2487 MHz by default so we're gonna increase that so we just need to enable that and then the memory timing you need to change to fast timing and then the advanced control you need to enable that as well so yeah as in default the lowest is 2500 MHz so we're gonna increase that uh, by 50 MHz at a time so we're gonna do 2550 and then hit apply changes as, as you can see this will increase now to, to 2537 uh, so it did increase more and then you need to uh, look at this just make sure it's running well there is no artifacts there is no uh, no artifact artifacts happening on the on the rendering so if it's all fine you can increase it more by another 50 so we're gonna do 2600 now and hit apply as you can see it increased now by another uh, 50 megahertz and then you need to watch this for like about a minute or two I'm just gonna I'm just like uh, speeding the process for you but you need every time you make a change you need to wait like like five minutes or a couple minutes just to make sure everything is running fine there is no artifacts there is no, nothing unusual happening if there is if you see like artifacts you need to decrease it down uh, so it is running fine at the moment so I'm gonna increase it by another 50 so it's 2650 apply changes and then it's gonna increase now again 2636 so it's running smoothly now uh, there's no artifacts happening not no crashes uh, if you see like some artifacts you need to decrease it but I already want my graphic card um, is capable of doing mine can do 2700 megahertz with no problem and apply changes so it's gonna increase now to 2700 megahertz yeah so that's how you do the VRAM and then and then next step we're gonna do as I said like you need to increase this by 50 megahertz at each time wait wait a couple of minutes see everything running fine and then if it's fine then increase it again and again and again until it crashes but mine can do 2700 uh, with no problems again if it crashes you need to like decrease it to decrease it go down to about 50 megahertz but yeah you you will um, have to see how your graphic card performs but mine is fine, fine on 2700 megahertz next thing we're gonna do the GPU um, core uh, clock speed so you're gonna enable that and then enable uh, advanced control so you can see by default mine is set to boost 3020 megahertz so that is already like really high um, I have like Gigabyte Aorus uh, Elite model so this is like one of the premium uh, models so so it can it already like boost itself to 3020 megahertz by um, in default uh, but I think if you have like different models this will change but to start with I would start for example um, I would start like uh, let's say 2900 megahertz max and then minimum 2800 megahertz minimum so you have minimum and max frequency and then you hit apply and then you're gonna have to keep watching the clock speed here uh, and make sure that you know it's running smoothly and you know, no artifacts is happening and it doesn't crash and then you need to wait like a few minutes like five minutes for example and then you can increase it more I you know I suggest like another 50 megahertz at a time as well so 2850 and when you click apply it will already increase the maximum because there is like a hundred megahertz difference between the minimum and maximum frequency so I increased it now and then gonna watch this there, I, 
make sure it's running fine, there is no artifacts, there is no uh, nothing unusual is happening and then we're just gonna wait uh, like a few minutes and then if everything is fine you can increase it again by another 50 so we increase the minimum by 2900 and then hit apply and then it already increased the maximum to 3000 megahertz so you're just gonna watch it again see everything is running fine I already know mine uh, you know it already boosted 3000 megahertz so this is like the the normal that I can increase increase it a little bit more um, let's do 2950 megahertz and then it already increased the uh, maximum to 3050 megahertz so so uh, so yeah I already tested mine for about like for about like more than an hour uh, at this rate and then it didn't crash so I know this is stable for my graphic card but you know if it's not stable for yours you, you need to like you know make do it less and then test it for like 10 minutes or whatever and then until you know it crashes but this is this should like work for most models uh, so um, as I said like but you know each model like, may, may uh, perform a little bit differently so you need to like do this uh, to do be patient with it and then keep increasing it or decreasing it by 50 megahertz so yeah and then once you're finished you need to save the profile you do the export button and then and then you need to name the profile for example RX 7900 XTX OC and then save so every time uh, so you know you don't lose this um, tuning profile so so for example when you reinstall a new driver it already reset itself so if you have it saved you can just simply import it from the second from the uh, import button from here and then you just select your profile and then you need to select GPU only and then proceed and then it will already import the settings for you so uh, that's how you do it guys uh, I hope this has been uh, helpful for you uh, as I said I'm gonna put a link in the description for uh, where to download the Heaven Benchmark software and I'll, I will also put uh, my export profile um, in the description as well so you can download it and try it out for yourself but that's uh, how it's done guys I mean it's really easy process and um, it will give you like free performance as well so so and there is like no risk of uh, harm in your graphic card in doing that um, because normally when you reach something unstable it already it will crash itself and then um, reset itself to the normal setting so I mean it's pretty normal but um, so yeah you will gain like uh, free performance from this um, as, as I said I'll put everything in the description uh, for you as well so you can download it and try it out for yourself but if you have any questions please um, comment in the comment section below and then I'll try to help you out and if you found this uh, video helpful and useful please uh, subscribe to my channel and like the video alright guys thanks very much for watching and take care peace